Man, I'm seeing a lot of new products on the table. Just the beginning. What you're looking at right here, we actually brought this out uh, just a couple weeks ago. Very impressive. We took it out to the Haltech World Cup Finals. That was the first place anybody really saw it publicly, but we've been working on this one for a while. Uh, some of you guys might know this by the more common name out there, which is an outlaw style catch can. Regardless of what application, the main thing is it's going to give you the highest capacity of ventilation for your crankcase pressure. Reducing crankcase pressure in turn is gonna keep your motor healthier and you are limited by space in the engine bay on how large of a can that you can use. So these are typically mounted inside the car uh, towards the rear. You have an inlet and an outlet. Obviously this one, they can be configured with AN or ORB fittings. This one is actually set up for standardized hose, like inch and a half uh, standard ID hose. Uh, They're also equipped with a stainless ball valve for draining that normally installs right here for reference. And there's a couple things that are unique to the way how I had these built and designed. Now, the simplest thing is we actually have a set of uh, standard mounting brackets. A lot of guys, when I looked at whatever they were using, they honestly didn't even have a way to mount this thing in the car properly. So we actually have these mounting brackets designed and they're bolted onto the can itself and gives you an easy way to mount it to the floor or the trunk of your vehicle. So it's not just a matter of safety, it's a matter of efficiency so that this thing is secure, it's not gonna come loose. Uh, the last thing you need is this thing bouncing around in your car on a high mile per hour pass. It's a safety issue and honestly, I felt it should have been standardized on anything that's out there. The second and most critical part is the things you can't see. The baffling design on this can is kind of unique. It's four stages. For comparison, not that I've seen what's inside, but what I can know function-wise is when you look at a catch can that's not designed very well, you'll notice it will have an excessive amount of smoke on the vent side. And then if you put your hand there on a pass, like if you're on the dyno, you'll notice you'll be getting a lot of oily residue on your hand, which is telling you that that internal baffling isn't doing very much. It's letting your motor vent, but now you're running the risk of all of this stuff getting on the track or getting inside your car. So that's a no-no. Uh, so I stepped it up. I have a four-stage full chamber baffling system. It's unique, it works, it functions well. The price point, it's on point. That's the only way to put it. So these things are available now. They're 5052, sheet metal, aluminum, and they are all nice, thick wall stuff. This isn't your thin 090 uh, entry mill cheap stuff. This is a nice unit. You're getting your money's worth. The performance is there. The function is there. It looks nice. It's easy to install. And you have those options for your inlet and outlet. Now, you'll say, well, why do you need an outlet? Well, obviously you have to vent it. So in this case, some guys will vent it through their back bumper. Some will actually put a breather filter on here to function, but it does its job. It does it efficiently and it's high quality. It's no, we don't really cut corners on any of the fab parts because the background of the company has always been fabrication. Now we do a lot more machining, but we still have some really nice fabricated components. So. Go ahead and check this out. You wanna see the options, the price point at autosportsengineering.com and shoot us an email. If there's something you'd like unique about it, maybe we'll be able to cater it for you, but definitely follow us on socials and check out this as well as the rest of our fabrication.